Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome. And uh, in today's class, we will discuss the uh, question, uh, question number 1C from March, July 2020 exams. Okay. And the requirement, first of all, we will look at the requirement. Uh, and it's saying describe eight odd risks and explain the auditor response to each risk planning the audit of Scarlet Company. Okay, um, so straight away, uh, let's jump to the scenario. Here it is, it is first July. You're, you are an audit supervisor of Orange and Company planning the audit of a new client, Scarlet Company. Okay, planning the audit of new client, Scarlet Company. So, being a new client is, uh, you know, is a audit risk. It's a detection risk because they are. Uh, so we get the first risk that is audit risk. The first audit risk uh, due to we can get the we have a detect detection risk being a new client because we have it is the first client that we're going to audit them and uh, obviously we uh, first time we have uh, we uh, we don't know. Uh, about their internal controls completely about the management and in that uh, you know in that accounting system and all so there is a increased and high detection risk so first risk we got okay scarlet company manufactures chemicals for use in domestic and commercial cleaning products so so far we have uh, one uh, audit risk the company okay uh, just a second let's move back to the requirement and let's see how much marks we have we have 16 marks so that means we have to find eight audit risks okay scarlet company manufacture chemicals for use in domestic and commercial cleaning products the company financial accountant was taken ill in May 2005 and is unable to undertake the preparation of the year and draft financial statements. As a result, the company recruited a temporary financial accountant in early June X5 who will prepare the draft financial statement. The year and financial statements need to be finalized quickly as the finance company, sorry, as the company is looking to raise finance through a bank loan to replace three machines in the production facility okay we have another risk over here the company financial accountant was ill suddenly in may 2005 okay and uh, is unable to undertake the preparation of the financial year draft as a result the company recruited a temporary financial accountant in june 2005 who will prepare the draft financial statement we have another risk here second audit risk because obviously uh, the the uh, the old financial accountant is ill and he can't make the draft financial statement so company recruited the new financial accountant again he has uh, less lesser knowledge about the company systems, controls, and all that. And obviously, in less time, with less understanding, he has to uh, prepare the draft financial statements. Okay. <clears throat> so, and the year and financial statement need to be finalized quickly as the company is looking to raise finance through a bank loan to replace three machines in the production facility and the bank has asked for a company of the audited year and financial statement by the end of september 2005 before they will agree to the loan and the directors are keen to report strong results in order to obtain this financing so we got another audit risk 
the statements can be manipulated by the management by the by the management because they have to show the healthy and more profitable financial statements so that they can get the loan right so we so far we get three audit risks okay in the year the company also purchased a specialized machine to develop a new range of chemicals for a major customer only trained staffs are allowed to operate the machine and the staff members had to undertake two days of training followed by an assessment at the end of the training period the training cost of dollar 15 have been capitalized as the part of the cost of the asset wrong treatment training cost of 15000 have been capitalized uh, if you remember ias 38 intangible assets it's it was clearly specified that training cost training cost cannot be capitalized it need to be expense out and if it is uh, capitalized and it was not corrected it, it will not be corrected by the firm by the accountants then uh, obviously 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 the assets there is a risk that added assets are overstated and um, expenses are understated so we have another risk over here number four number four audit risk so far we are half done the company sources uh, many of its uh, raw materials to be used in the chemical manufacturing process from an international supplier and goods can be in transit for up to three weeks the agreement with the international supplier contains a clause which states that starlet company is responsible for the goods as soon as they leave the supplier's warehouse okay the company sources manual to be in chemical from an uh, international supplier goods can be in transit for up to three weeks. The agreement with the international suppliers contains a clause which said that Starlet company is responsible for the goods as soon as they leave the supplier's warehouse. That means uh, the control is transferred to the supplier. So uh, <clears throat> the control is uh, transferred towards the Starlet company and so uh, there is a risk that inventory is understated so we have another risk audit risk fifth one you have carried a preliminary analytical review which indicates that the receivables collection period has increased from 38 to 52 days okay uh, the credit controller has confirmed that some customers are currently taking longer to pay than in previous years as they are awaiting payment from their customers okay so another audit risk uh, here we have of that means there is a risk that bad debts can be increased so that's the sixth one sixth audit risk now move towards other on 29th may the directors announced that one of its brands was being discontinued due to fall in demand for the product this resulted in four staff members being made redundant the payroll department has calculated the levels of termination costs associated with the redundancy and they will be paid in the january 2005 x5 payroll run so uh, we have to there is a risk that number six risk the audit is that provision of redundancy may not be made which will uh, decrease the liability right and increase the expenses or assets of the company so we have the sixth one sorry we have the seventh one actually then just a second yeah we have the seventh auditors 
Then the directors each receive a significant bonus in the year which has been included in the payroll charge of the year in the statement of profit or loss. Local legislation requires separate disclosure of director bonuses in the financial statements. So uh, there is that the disclosures may not be made, may not be provided, right? So which will obviously the breach of uh, local legislation we then all eight but let us look at other two paragraph as well during the year the company sold a batch of chemicals to the customer for 120,000 at the beginning of may x5 the customer this chemical because the chemical mix wasn't in line in the, with the customer specification and a credit note is yet to be issued to the customer and the chemicals have been written down to their scrap value within inventory so uh, we have the ninth one that uh, that maybe the audit risk is that inventory may be overvalued, may be overvalued. Now, so for nine, I got more than uh, eight. Right, uh, the company usually paid its suppliers by the end of each month. However, due to the financial accountant Ill illness, the payment run for May X5 was not performed until 1st June 2005. The finance director has informed you that in order to show consistent results with the prior year, this payment run is shown as an next unprecedented item on the year end bank reconciliation. All right, so by this there is another risk that uh, uh, by not showing the payments the expenses are understated and the cash that means the current assets are overstated so we got another audit risk right but we only need eight audit risk and eight responses so let's uh, dive in and now uh, let us do what we will just draft our audit uh, sorry uh, answers so <clears throat> audit risk and auditor's response So firstly, my audit risk, number one, as I mentioned, is the one Scarlet company is a new audit client of the firm. The audit engagement team will be unfamiliar will be unfamiliar with the accounting policies transactions and balances of the client Hence, there will be increase increased uh, detection risk. I'm writing in chart, okay, but you don't should not do it in exam. Okay, next, my audit response. Orange and Company. Should ensure that it has a suitably um, experienced team uh, 
deployed on the audit. In addition, sufficient time must be set aside. So that the team members can Team members can uh, familiarize themselves with the new client document its systems. and controls and understand the risk of material misstatement and understand the risks of material misstatement, right? R-O-M-M stand for risk of material misstatement. That's my short form. Uh, like this, if you show in a uh, bracket, then after that, you can use the similar one, a uh, similar short form. So, so we did, we got the two marks, first two marks, then let's move on my, to the second risk. The company financial accountant, the company financial accountant was taken ill suddenly in May X5 and a temporary accountant Uh, has been uh, temporary accountant has been drafted into help prepare the financial statement There is an increase risk of errors in the financial statement as the temporary financial accountant may not be familiar with company activities and so errors omissions go unnoticed number two uh we done discuss with management the technical competency
and experience of the temporary financial accountant in addition the audit engagement team in addition the audit engagement team should ensure that increase substantive procedure are undertaken on the material areas of the financial statement to reduce audit risk particularly those required judgments to done now and so far we get the uh, four marks now next one the number 3 the year end financial statements have to be prepared the year end financial statement has to be prepared by end of september 2000x5 in order to secure uh bank loan and management wish to report strong results dun 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 then this increases now i have to tell what's the risk this increases the Uh, this increases the risk that directors may manipulate profit oh sorry manipulate the financial statement <clears throat> by overstating profits and asset and understating liabilities all right uh, <clears throat> now obviously the response the audit engagement team the audit engagement team should maintain professional skepticism throughout the course of the audit
detailed cut off testing uh, on areas such as uh, revenue inventory and payables revenue inventory and payables could be performed should be performed to ensure ensure cut off is correctly applied okay so far we got how much marks six marks now fourth one <clears throat> A specialized machine was acquired. Was acquired and staff members and staff members um had to be trained had to be trained in the machines for machine usage at cost of dollar 15000 15000 uh which was capitalized to the cost of machine Okay, IAS 16, also as I stated earlier, uh, IS 38, IS 16 also PPE, property plan and equipment prohibits crane cost from being capitalized. And so, therefore, profits and um, property, plant, and equipment are overstated. Okay, so far, so good. Now we have to write the uh, response for it so what i will do uh, as an auditor response discuss the accounting treatment with the directives and request that
an adjustment is made to ensure appropriate treatment of the training cost of the training cost obtain a breakdown of the remaining capitalized cost remaining capitalized costs and agree to supporting documentation to ensure they meet the recognition criteria of IAS 16. So far, so good. Uh, I hope you get it till here. Now, uh, we are done the half of the question that means we got the eight marks so far right we still have to get eight more marks so let me write further the three uh, weeks Time from uh, uh, three week time for delivery from supplier is likely to result in goods. A result in goods in transit at year end. So The company has advised that has advised that Scarlet Company is responsible. for goods from dispatch from dispatch and therefore inventory Should be recorded when the products are sent by supplier. There is a risk that a 
it is that inventory is not recorded on dispatch and therefore therefore inventory and liabilities are understated at year end okay now i have to write the response i can write the uh, the response like discuss with management at which point inventory is recorded and review the contract with the supplier to verify the requirements in place okay number another response which can be right uh, which can be written as review the controls to review the controls in the company sorry the company has in place has in place uh, to ensure that inventory is recorded ensure that inventory is recorded from the point of dispatch from the point of dispatch so far so good we are done uh, with five uh, points that means we are done um, with the 10 marks now okay now i'll be writing the sixth one that is on 29th may 29th may 2000x5 the directors announced that a brand is was being discontinued Uh, resulting in in four members of staff being redundant. the cost of uh, redundancy are being 
included in July 2000X5 payroll run. Okay. Now, I will explain a standard little bit and the related risk. Now, as there is a present obligation, for which the cost can be reliably measured. And which will result in an outflow of funds IS 37, that is provisions, contingent assets and liabilities would require this provision to be recognized in the financial statement if the provision is if the provision is not recognized then profit would be overstated overstated and liabilities would be understated that's it now obtain the calculation of the redundancy payments and agree that and agree that a provision has been included as a liability in the year end financial statements agree the redundancy payments have been paid post year end right uh, how much done we get so far seven uh sorry 12 marks now let's write the
next one that is seventh one second last the directors have each been paid a significant bonus at year end and separate disclosure of this is required in financial statement by local legislation. The director remuneration disclosure will be incomplete incomplete and inaccurate if the bonus paid is included in uh, payroll charge for the year and not separately disclosed in accordance with local legislation with local legislation uh, The response discuss this matter, discuss this matter with uh, management and a review disclosure in the financial statement to ensure it complies with local legislation. We are done till uh, here, seven point, uh, seven audit press, seven audit responses. So far we get 14 marks. We need two more marks. So here is, is the last point. The customer is returned uh, 120,000 of all the goods to company that is Scarlet company to company prior to year end but credit note is yet to be issued as the sale occurred
prior to year end, there is a risk that there is a risk that revenue and receivables revenue and receivables are overstated if the credit note is not correctly recorded prior to year end. Now, I need to write my response. Inspect the company. So inspect a copy of the credit note. and confirm an adjustment to revenue and receiver and adjustment to, to revenue and receivable has been recorded the year end. That's it. 16 marks for this requirement is completed here. I hope uh, you got it that how to draft the answer for this part of the question for audit risk. Um, see keep it simple uh, just go to the uh, line by line into the scenario and then draw by looking to the scenario apply the knowledge to the application of scenario line by line simple and easy in almost every paragraph you would get the risk you just have to use your knowledge to respond to that risk uh, so just practice it now and see you in the next session.